What we're doing today is showing you a video on how to uh, identify which player you should be using versus which welding process you're going to be performing. First one is direct current, electrode, negative. We'll draw this with a piece of tungsten. This is what you're going to use for TIG welding. So the electrode is going to be negatively charged, positive charge on your work. Electricity flows from negative to positive. So basically what's going to happen is your electrons are going to get released from your tungsten and go down towards the plate this. The result is going to be a heat of one third of your heat on the tungsten and two thirds of your heat on the plate. That's why it's used for TIG welding. If you reversed it and went direct current electrode positive, which is the next polarity, let's just say we're going to use a stick electrode here because that's what you're going to use it for is stick welding positive up here, negative down here, it's reversed and your electricity is now going up into your rod. If that was a piece of tungsten, it would basically eat away at your uh, tungsten. This is also called reverse polarity for that very reason. And this is called straight polarity. The way I remember this is a negative sign is just a straight line, right? So direct current electrode negative, straight polarity, direct current electrode positive, reverse polarity. The, uh, uh, they don't usually refer to it like this anymore. It's usually going to say DCEN or DCEP on the machines. Uh, old machines will still say straight and reverse polarity though, so you should know what it is. Um, the heating on your direct current electrode positive is going to be two thirds up here one third down here, the opposite of the direct current electronegative. That's why you use it for stick welding. It goes up and eats away at your uh, rod. So we're gonna put stick here. It's also what you use for MIG. So instead of eating away at the rod, it's gonna eat away at the wire. The last one, alternating current or AC. We'll use a stick rod again. Actually, we'll use a piece of tungsten that's balled up because that's what you would use it for. Um, aluminum TIG. And because you're alternating the current, the electrons are flowing down and they're coming back and going the other way for a resultant heat of one half on the tungsten, one half on the work. It's another reason why when you go to aluminum you have to crank your heat up because you've got half here. It also provides a cathodic cleaning for aluminum, so when the electrons are released from the work, they, uh, they break up the oxide layer that is on the outside of aluminum and kind of clean, clean the uh, weld a little bit. So there it is, DC and DCEP and AC. There are certain flux cord wires that you can put direct current electronegative uh, and it'll say that right on the box. Usually it'll be an inner shield, not a dual shield. But for the most part, direct current electrode negative is for TIG, direct current electrode positive is for stick and MEG, and AC is for aluminum.